I'm Neo. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Some of y'all are feeling overwhelmed and you're tired and you need to get sleep or you're feeling overwhelmed because something isn't working here the way that you wish it would be working. Alright, let's see what else. And I'm going to say something here and you might not like it, but I have to speak the truth. Shocking news, but not to worry. The universe is taking care of you always. So you guys may have recently received some form of news here with sudden strike. This is like tower energy. You could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio placements in your chart, but you don't have to. It says sudden strike. You get some shocking news, but not to worry. The universe is taking care of you always. Okay, so whatever the shocking news is, you're going to be fine. It says evolving technology. I feel like it's just something that you're not ready for or expecting. Upgrading your life may be necessary now as you have always outgrown your old ways. So evolving technology energy is giving me energy of like some of you guys are currently upgrading some form of like software. You could be doing something you've never done before you could be implementing some form of new practice or some form of like new platform new process whatever that is for some of you all you could have bought a new laptop or buying a new computer whatever this new equipment is that i feel like it is that you need or that you just purchased you definitely need it maybe something just broke like did you unexpectedly like break a piece of equipment here that you use for your business or that you use for your creativity that's what it's giving. So if that unexpected finance uh, or unexpected expense has come up, unfortunately, I'm sorry to hear that, you guys. That's number one. But number two, if that unexpected unexpected expense has come up, Spirit is telling you, it was, you was, this was supposed to happen. You're supposed to be upgrading right now. You're supposed to be leveling up. Just remember, you guys can file those losses on your taxes, you guys, okay? Especially if you have a business or an LLC. It says open door. Yeah, when one door closes, another door opens. So something unexpectedly and shocking is happening here that you don't see, right, with this sudden strike. But guess what comes in for you when one door closes, another door opens, right? So maybe this sudden expected turn of events or whatever this is was like, dang, I can't believe this happened, right? But then guess what? You see that energy of that open door? There's a light and a sun shining through. It's so beautiful and graciously, right? So it says, if other options seem to close seem close to you, let them go. There's another way to there's another way open to you. Okay, so if this is giving the energy of you were, you know, expecting to have some form of contract or you were expecting some form of specific opportunity and it didn't work out for some reason you're like damn why didn't that work out well spirit is saying don't worry because you're you're th this was meant to happen i know it was unexpected but you're about to be leveling up and upgrading some situation is going to be better so the next door that opens for you let go of what needs to be let go of don't don't cling on to it don't hold on to it it's it's necessary for you to just allow it to fall off it's necessary for you to allow it to just move away it's a to be moving away okay for some of you all it's been a long ugly challenging road right now um, I feel like it's been a little bit difficult for you guys to kind of stay in the flow because you're just feeling like everybody else is getting theirs or they're like succeeding and I understand the whole like you know I see Tom Dick and Sally and who's you know Keisha and and you know I don't know Trish Trayvon, whoever, right? They're getting theirs, they're doing good in their business, right? But what about me? What about my business? Why isn't this working out for me the way that I want it to? And Spirit is saying, no, everyone has their turn. You need to continue to get up off your ass and continue to push through, push forward <laughs> and handle things, okay? We know you're going through something tough right now, okay? We know you're going through something tough, but you're gonna make it through, okay? You're going to make it through. Spirit wants you to clean up your clean up yourself, okay? Because some of y'all might even be a little bit depressed. You might be a little bit depressed or you just kind of like giving up. Spirit is saying, clean yourself up. You're not the center of the universe. I told you guys, this is not for the faint of heart. I'm not trying to trigger you. This is the energy that Spirit is coming up. So if you've been like feeling sorry for yourself or sad, Spirit is like, no, no, no knock the dust off okay dust yourself off and try again okay like Aaliyah said okay just 
dash yourself off and try again because you got this the universe has you just because that one door closed does not mean another one that's is not going to open for you and the new door that is opening up for you is going to be like so much better it's going to be an upgrade which is good i don't know i'm looking at my face my face is always so shiny on here like my skin <laughs> I mean, I feel like Beyonce shining, 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 shining. Yeah, that's all right. All of this went in. I just I just need to pat my forehead a little bit before I get on here with you guys. Oh my goodness. Anyway, just be careful. If there's any form of, don't allow drama to get in the way of whatever this unexpected event is. Don't allow it to like creep in and allow your mind to be so negative or for you to feel discouraged because i feel like maybe at some point some drama could have could have put could pop off or it did pop off and it got a little bit ugly but like somebody here is being shady either you're being shady because you don't want something to happen be careful you're not the you are not let me just say this, and I love you guys. You are not the center of the universe, and I'm just reading the cards here, okay? For some of y'all, y'all are doing something shady because you don't want something to happen, or maybe there's some shady business practices. I do not know. Or maybe you're holding back some information from someone, or you're holding whatever this is that you're holding back, or you're not giving the information to. You're supposed to be giving this information up. I'm telling you, you're supposed to be giving back. You're supposed to be doing good. And just there's a saying that um, I always say, I don't have it hanging up here but I usually have it hanging over here where I can see it and it's a, it's like a quote that says like basically do for the greater good like what are you doing is it, is it serving everybody's everybody's greatest good uh, usually or ask yourself if am what I doing is it helping everyone for the greater good, right? If it's not helping everybody for the greater good, then you, you you don't need to be doing those things, okay? It's time for you to get over yourself and pull your shit together and give back to the community. For some of you all, whatever this is that you're doing, just make sure you're just in best practices, okay? Everybody has their turn. Get up off your butt and do what it takes. Just... Owning a business is not for the week. We know this. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication. People don't see the blood, sweat, and tears that goes into something, right? And that's okay. Um, what else is the current energy here for the collision? <clears throat> well, this is good. High Priestess and Queen of Pentacles energy. You could be a Pisces. You could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn here. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. The bottom of the deck is a star. This is really good. Aquarius energy here with Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. And look at what came out. The Ace of Cups. It, for some of y'all, I know this is a side note here, but some of you guys might be teaming up with somebody in the present. What you don't know, what you don't see is there's a partnership coming towards you. Someone's going to help you. They're going to see eye to eye. You're going to work very well together. There's going to be a business partnership. It's going to work really, really well, and you don't see this. Like, it's going to work really, really well. And I was not supposed to show y'all that star card because she don't have on any clothes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Please don't take my video down. Okay, so we have the High Priestess, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, current energy. So what you don't see is there's a partnership coming in here. The High Priestess about the High Priestess is about your intuition. It's about seeing what is beneath the surface, right? Trusting your intuition. Maybe some things being hidden from you. Uh, whatever it is here. <clears throat> I feel like the Queen of Pentacles energy, there's a divine masculine and a divine feminine here. Again, male or female, doesn't matter what you resonate with. Whatever this is, is going to be a wish fulfillment with this Ace of Cups being here with the star energy. This is like, this King of Cups is looking for someone to partner up with, right? And maybe this Queen of Pentacles is not, this divine feminine is not looking. This the divine feminine could be doing this on their own, is what it looks like. And this divine feminine is navigating through this, through life, through their career, through 
through their business, through their entrepreneurial journey, they are trusting and using their own discernment and guidance and intuition to, to navigate through this. But you've got a king of pentacles who's like, I'm looking for a partner. Who's my partner, right? And this does not have to be about love. This could totally just be a really good marriage of a partnership when it comes to business because we're talking about business now is there a possibility that some of you all may have a divine a divine masculine divine feminine coming your way yes there is i feel like if you're the divine feminine you don't see this coming in the, the divine masculine is looking for it this divine masculine is going to be all for it by the way and underneath that is temperance look at this temperance is about balance it's about healing this is also about patience this is about understanding this is about equal give and take but this is also energy of the divine so whatever this is with the star energy i'm gonna show you all again with the star energy you see me trying to cover this up this is all orchestrated from the divine, meaning no one can take this from you. Then underneath that, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which tells me this is something sent from the divine. This is a divine partnership that's going to work quite, quite well, quite well. Look at this. I'm seeing six, six. Wow. Six of swords and a six of wands. This is actually going to be, I'm telling you, public recognition. Your business is going to do good or this partnership is going to do really, really well, whatever this is. I mean, if you're going from like your business being, you're getting more exposure. Interesting. Okay, let's see. What can the collective do to improve the current situation in their business or career and finances here? Some of you guys might need to get something copyrighted. Okay, make sure you do that. Um, let's see. Hold on. You need to get something copyrighted here. Learn how to craft words that speak to the heart of your ideal clients. Right. So there's some, some room for improvement for you guys to learn how to to tailor your your tailor to your audience right is what you're sh sharing with your audience is it tailored are you posting the same thing to every platform because each platform is really different here okay so whatever it is that you're writing you know sometimes you cannot use the same verbiage or the same text or the same language for every single platform every platform has a different audience okay so remember if you are talking to a different type of audience then you might need to craft that message a little bit differently that's all just tailor it, it, it and it's not that hard it just takes a few extra minutes especially if some of you guys are doing some form of online marketing especially if you're paying for this don't be paying for marketing online if you're not crafting and tailoring the message for the correct audience you guys we don't want you to waste your money, right? Your spirit guides want you to make sure you're you're getting your biggest dollar worth right. Some of you all might be blogging. Some of you all might be looking up how to do SEO, which is basically like your search search in engine optimization, which is like make sure you're tailoring that as well if you're doing seo stuff as well you're implementing a solid marketing plan that's going to build your clients to trust in you so when you show up consistently consistently for them they know that you care so consistency and tailoring to your audience is going to allow you to build trust with with your customers okay or you know with your team or in your career whatever this is apply this where this goes there's a need to tailor something so i could be talking to someone who's looking for a, a new career somewhere else and you don't work for yourself you might have to take the extra mile and upgrade or like tweak your adjust your resume for whatever job position so like if you're applying to five jobs a day you cannot use the same resume you make sure you're changing those keywords okay and tailoring it to that position that you're applying to now some of you guys are building a new website here it looks like or you're building like some form of and growing some form of like email distribution list you know if you're not you need to be taking uh, clear so like if you got all these emails 
and you've not put them in one central area to use them for a specific place or to use for your branding or to use for your email blast, right? Or for social media, whatever it is or however it is that you're notifying people, make sure you're building your email list and, and speaking to your audience and tailoring that audience, tailoring that message for that audience, okay? And staying in touch with them. Okay, so like if you have all these emails and you're not doing anything with these emails or this contact information, some of you guys have phone numbers, some of you have emails, whatever it is, are you using that information in that database to tailor messages and market to those people? It's time, it's time that you do that. It's time that you do that, okay? Especially if you're building and rewriting uh, and doing some, building a new website or rewriting some form of marketing plan. I mean, why would you not do that, especially if you're spending money to do this? You better do, take the extra step to do it because it'll help you in the long run. Then we have sales. So some of you guys are selling things online. You're selling some form of good or services. It says, learn the art of sales. Embrace selling as a sacred energy, um, a sacred exchange of energy, well-being, and goodwill, you and your ideal clients. Okay. So whatever it is that you're selling to people here, just make sure you're providing good customer service. Even if this is you selling yourself to a new company and you're on, you know, um, you're on an interview, whatever that is, right? Make sure that you're thanking people when they purchase something for you. If you have an email list built up, people are giving you their contact information and they purchase something, are you following up with them with just a simple thank you? That could be very helpful for you too. Are you showing how grateful you are? If you haven't heard from these people and they purchased from you before, right? Are you following up with emails and the same thing can go for you? Like if you're interviewing, are you following up and sending a thank you email after interviewing? Are you following up and sending a thank you email to a recruiter? Are you following up and you, you get my GIF, you get my drift, right? Are you following up and saying thank you to the customer and showing them how appreciative you are? Maybe even sending some form of a coupon or some form of a thank you saying, hey, like here's a, you know, 15% off code, use it next time, next time you visit or next time you buy and you sell. I mean, you sell something to them, okay? They do want to feel more appreciative. That will help them, okay? And if you're just showing your gratitude for the meeting and the opportunity, that person is going to remember you whether you know it or not. I feel like that's going to set you apart from everyone else, right? It'll refresh this in this person's memory like, oh, hey, I remember them. Um, I remember seeing them. <clears throat> and plus, you know what that does too? It, it manifests more things, the more grateful you are, the more gratitude that you show, the more gratitude that you express to people, that brings in good things back to you, whether you know it, whether you know it or not, okay? It just brings in more abundance, more joy, and make sure you guys are setting some form of a monthly budget too, because that is here. So are you keeping track of your business and, and separating your business and your personal uh, expenses? Because it looks like some of you guys might not be doing that. Okay, so watch your overspending. Slow down on your spending if you're overspending right now, and make sure that you have a clear distinction between your personal uh, your personal expenses and your business expenses because it doesn't look like you are all right make sure you're being very specific about which ones those are and you're keeping track of them all right i'm just saying that that it, that's here and you you're here to find out what you could do to improve the situation so that's what we're talking about let's see what else do we have here what else can we improve due to improve the current situation here for the collective what else can they do to improve oh man y'all are overspending for real please be careful y'all have to yeah you guys are like where's the money i deserve more money you're thinking about like increasing your prices and your services don't be afraid to do that just make sure that you're giving just make sure that whatever it is that you're giving and that you're thinking about increasing your prices with, that you're expressing gratitude for people. But yeah, you, you're you either in some form of lack mindset here. Some of you all feel like you've been betrayed. For those of you who had a business partner here, you, someone may have stolen ideas from you. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at what came out. Stolen ideas. Be careful who you trust. 
And then we have business betrayal. So for some of you all, somebody could have stolen money out of a shared business account. This message is not for everybody here, but just be very, very careful about that. Somebody here could have deserved, felt like something was theirs and they took it. And remember I said earlier, there's an energy of somebody being shady here. <clears throat> Stop being shady if that's you. Now, if this is not you, then great, no problem. But I, I, that, that energy is coming out once again. Yeah, you're someone here is afraid to change. You guys have got to come out of the, your step outside of your comfort zone. If you want to be successful and you want to improve here, you've got to be... You've got to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone. And, and fear, success is on the other side of fear. Okay? What else here can we collective improve on? What's, what's the advice? What is the advice for the collective? On what's it? Our Ten of Pentacles came out again, and I'm using a totally different deck. What advice do you have for the collective? Hmm. There we go. Mm, a lot of pinnacles here. So this is definitely about money, stability. Okay. Alright, let's get one more advice. There goes that star again. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. You could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio here, um, or Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, that is a, that is what we have here at the bottom of the deck. So there is a need for you. I have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. There's a need for you to literally like strategize. Okay, if you've been feeling confused about anything, there's a need for you to use your logic over emotion i know you've been emotional you maybe you've been giving a lot you're you know a lot of you are givers at the heart right naturally at the heart so but no spirit is calling for you to to be more head over heart be strategic be smarter about how you move okay and create a plan because that's what that king of swords energy is the king of swords is like usually a lawyer maybe some of you all may need to get a lawyer or like the king of swords is somebody who usually like specializes in something so if you feel like you need to get like especially when we talk about uh income and expenses maybe some of you all need to hire a tax expert or CPA. I hate to tell you that. Sometimes that cost is worth it. You can even go to like H&R Block and hire someone extra and have them do extra to cover yourself, right? We have the star energy here crowning the reading as far as your advice. So, <laughs> you know, the spirit is just saying like, what is it? <clears throat> Are you thinking the star is all about what you dream, what you wish for, right? Are you dreaming big enough? Spirit is saying dream bigger. Are you seeing the bigger picture here? Are you really, you like, I feel like you guys want certain things, but I feel like you're not thinking large enough, okay? Think bigger, okay? That's all I'm going to say about the star energy. You, you, it's a wish fulfillment, and you, you have, you can have this. The star energy being here with the Ten of Pentacles is like... You can have this. You have the possibility of building something long-term and stable, something that you can pass down to your family, to your kids, something that can create a legacy for you. Like I said, this is energy of like you're not seeing the bigger picture. You need to start to see the bigger picture. It is available to you. Ten of Pentacles is like the highest level you can get when it comes to stability, income, and longevity. It's a commitment. This is something that you're going to be working towards and growing and expanding for like the rest of your life. And your children are going to be working on this. So you see what I'm saying? So that's why you need to open up your mind and and just think about all the great things that you've really accomplished and all of the, all of the things that you can continue to accomplish and what you can pass down to your kids and the legacy that you can leave behind. And really this is all about with the Knight of Pentacles being here, I feel like it's just about, you know, taking it step by step, baby steps, right? Because the Knight of Pentacles is very, very slow very slow moving energy right it takes forever but like the knight of pentacles once they reach the ten of pentacles that is like the ultimate like the foundation is strong 
You know what I mean? It takes determination. So all spirit is telling you is don't give up. Be determined. Right? Have this plan. And it's just understand and know when you dream big, it doesn't happen overnight. Okay? When you dream big, it doesn't happen overnight. And success is on the other side of fear. So just baby steps, okay? It doesn't matter if you are not going from zero to 100 real quick, okay? When you're building this Ten of Pentacles, that's not going to happen overnight. Then we got the Queen of Cups energy here, which is, you know, Spirit saying, like, are you being too emotional? Yes, you should be giving back and helping other people. You should be. You should. You always should be because that's how you get your blessings in return. But obviously, I feel like with the King of Swords being on the bottom of the deck, it's like you you have to use more logic over your emotion when it comes to this business and you being financially debt-free success. To reach the Ten of Pentacles... You can't just be giving all the damn time, okay? You, you you give back to yourself and reinvest in yourself in this company, in this queen. I understand the queen of cups is nice and kind and sweet, but the queen of cups also, what you guys really don't understand, I think sometimes we forget as readers, because the queen of cups tends to be like the very sweet, kind, giving person, male or female, doesn't matter. The queen of cups is still someone that has strength. There's someone who gives back to their community, when they see fit but also too or when they see a need but also spirit is telling you don't be too wrapped up in emotion sometimes you need to think about how it's going to affect you first how it's going to affect your company how it's going to affect your finances and your expenses okay so that's all i'm saying now if you follow the, that advice let's see what the outcome is for this what is the advice for this please the outcome Look at that. Page of Cups is out. What's the out? The Empress. Male or female. That's just about you birthing something new. Okay? Male or female. Um, and, and, and being successful at it might I add you. Because the Empress is a business owner. What's the outcome? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles again. Listen, you, you're going to be stable. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to have a reason to celebrate here. You're going to have, if you just trust your wisdom and your intuition, continue to do that. Continue to move how you feel on the inside. Like, trust that intuition, right? On top of using logic, obviously. You'll have your wish fulfillment. You're not a cup. You're not going to want for anything. You're, you'll be fine. The Page of Cups, the Empress, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Cups is here okay so i'm just gonna tell you this you there is definitely you're gonna be bossed up you're definitely a boss okay i'm talking to a boss bitch or talk to a guy who is just doing his own thing and leveling it up but i think you you will get the ten of cups you will get the ultimate happiness and joy and fulfillment 10 10 is here 10 of pentacles came out twice the star came out twice in two different decks so it's some of you guys may be seeing 10 10 this is something that you really love with the page of cups being here right you know <laughs> the thing is though you're still kind of like in your head and having some form of anxiety so this, this is all in your head nine nine of swords is all in your head okay so don't fight your intuition, trust it, okay? Some of you all may not be getting good sleep. Make sure you're getting good sleep. Don't worry about it. You will reach the ultimate goal. The ultimate happiness is going to be fine, okay? Money's going to be good. I keep seeing this Queen of Pentacles show up. The Empress being here, it's like things are going to be good. It just don't be afraid to take a leap of faith here. I feel like some of you all experience some form of business betrayal. Because I'm seeing the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords here. But the thing is, after this business betrayal, this is not for everybody here. I just feel like you're going to get clarity. Now you know how you need to move moving forward. Right? Because now we have, after that business betrayal, that Five of Swords and Ten of Swords energy is the fool. So this is you taking the leap of faith, but you're still clinging on to the side of this cliff like, I still don't know what to do. You don't have to know what to do. All you need to do is, is take the leap of faith. Spirit is going to catch you. 
spirit is going to catch you. Just make sure you're logical about it, obviously, by using the steps and the advice that I just gave you. But anywho, let me know if you guys enjoy this reading and if it resonated for you. 